Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is staying safe um, during this difficult time with the coronavirus and everything going on. Um, and since I've been in quarantine, I've been trying to be as productive as possible and just kind of keep my mind off things by working on items that I've been putting off for a while. And one of them eh, is this. This is a planner that I've been wanting to finish for quite a while and finally with all this free time and some extra help around the house since my husband and and is not working and my son has no school because of the quarantine um and they're able to help me more with the baby i was able to finish the setup um to this planner so basically i wanted to share it with you guys just to give you guys some ideas if you guys um have a planner like this and maybe don't have all the sections that I have or if you guys don't have a planner like this maybe this can open up your um, light bulb or <laughs> give you some ideas to create your own so basically this is uh, my home management binder and I'm using a large um, happy planner to store it to store everything inside so uh, I was able to find this one in michael's it was i think 30 percent off so i got a good deal on it um and i liked that it said uh, dream seeker i might make another cover for it or and i'm definitely uh thinking of making a cover for it if i do i'll share that with you guys but let me just go ahead because there's a lot to go through so um for the first page i just basically did um just a laminated a page that just said home management planner um and i just added some stickers that had like little houses i think this is washi tape and so starting with um these sections so these um labels um i made myself on the computer uh these labels are the ones that if you follow me on my instagram and my planner page um, these were some clear Avery labels that I had found a few years back from the thrift store. And then these are just some dividers that I also um, had been collecting for a while. So the first section, of course, is, let me see if it'll focus, calendar. So when you open it up, in the back of the uh, divider it has a section for notes in case I want to use it and then I made this fly leaf for the beginning of it which says start each day with a grateful heart I just want it to have like a positive quote to have in the beginning and then here we start with the tabs that are under calendar which the first one is monthly so of course I have a 2020 year at a glance I got this online and I printed it out um, and then I also have a um, month on a page for every month. And I like this one because it has the holidays on there. So I wanted one like that um, for this home management planner. So that way I knew um, when we had holidays. And then I also have enough space to write in the days that um, my son has vacation from school or days off or half a day things like that so I printed also this from online and I have one for each month of the year and each one has um, of course like the holidays on there so I have one for each month of the year and then I also printed the same calendar but in this format because I wanted um, to have the bottom part of the sheet for notes um, for maybe future planning or just for like birthdays or just to write in any notes for um, each month so I have one for each month in this um, same style and then these printouts I also found online I think I might have found them in Pinterest and it's also for me to kind of write down uh, some notes for each month, I just wanted to have um, enough uh, sections for future planning or notes or anything like that. Then the next 
section in my calendar is weekly. So in this one, I just have a series of inserts that pertain to having weekly planning. So there's this style I really liked because it has um, a little box for each day of the week and then I can write down some goals for that week, maybe some snacks that I'll be eating that week, and then a small little grocery list in case I need to head out in any of these days to buy necessities. And right now, with the quarantine and everything, it's really good to have an organizational method for knowing how much you have of the necessities at home and how much you need to buy so that way you can plan out your shopping trips since we're not really supposed to be going out so much and then i also have this printout which is um a week at a glance so it gives me um a little bit more space for each day of the week and then just um a small little section down here for some to do's now i have several uh, you might say like why do you have several um weekly printout is I'm going to be testing them out and then see which one um, works best for me. Then there's also this one, which is our house week on a glance. And then it has, of course, Monday through Sunday. And then on the bottom, this one is good for if when you have kids, it has, um, it, it has kids activities, dinner plans and notes, and then a small box for to do's. So I think this is um, a nice layout as well i think i'm gonna have fun using that one too so i'm probably gonna just be testing out all of them and then once i use up all of them i will have an idea of which one worked the best for me i'm just showing sharing with you guys how they all look this is another one of my favorites because the weekly plan is divided um, by mon by morning midday and afternoon so you're able to plan out um, the whole day like that and you have a water log for each day and notes on the bottom so this weekly plan I think I really like and then of course you have on here you have Monday through Wednesday and here you have Thursday through Sunday and it's a really nice setup and then that's it for now those are the my favorite um, week on a page inserts and as I go through them, I'll probably few, later on let you guys know which one ended up being um, the one that I used the most. Now, this section is the daily section, so I have some daily inserts. And again, um, I'm going to be using all of them and then deciding which one worked best and then sticking with that one. So the first page is a time tracker. I, I've never really used a time tracker, so I have this one here because I want to see... Um, how that works out for me of course and then I love this um, daily setup because it helps out like those of us that are busy like right now we probably have a lot going on so this one is helpful in that sense because you have a reminder section here some notes then you have you're able to write out um, your appointment for each day um, any groceries that you might need to pick up you have a section for that and it breaks it down by groceries vegetables meats and deli items um, condiments and things like bread and cereal canned goods and then other and then over here you have a section for honey household items you might need to do some uh, personal items like toiletries that you might need to buy and then a miscellaneous for like birthdays, anniversaries, office and school supplies, clothes, miscellaneous. So I really like this insert a lot. Um, I'm going to be taking real good advantage of this one because it kind of helps me plan out um, everything in one page. You have your reminders, your appointments, and your shopping list and errands in one. So I have a couple of those. Then there's this one, which is my plans for today. So you have three tasks, um, your top three tasks, some boxes for more tasks, and then a plan. So you can plan out, plan out the whole day 
by um, what you need to do in the morning, afternoon, and evening. And then this one also has some great options for you to plan out your day. Because you have a section for what's for dinner, some financial tasks, household tasks, personal tasks, work and project tasks, your top three tasks, um, some phone calls or emails that you might need to do, um, the plan of the day breakdown in from morning, afternoon, and evening, and then what I want to remember about today. So I love this setup as well. I actually think I want to incorporate um, a setup like this into one of my other planners as well. Then we have this one which has a timed section right here for appointments, some uh, sec section for priorities to do, to buy notes, and a little bit section for expenses here. This one is also a really good insert as well, daily insert. And I have a couple of those as well because I also like the setup of it. And I was able to find this one um, in a way where I was able to print it out front to back. So that's why I have um, just a variety. Now, moving on to the next section of the planner is lists. So here, and again, we're still in the calendar section. So here we have one that has like to-do lists and I'm able to write on this side what I did out of this to-do list. So these would be like my daily tasks. Um, I also put a habit tracker in here as well. And then these are just some random um, pages that I can use to write down um, my to-do list or what's on my mind, or worksheets, brain dump, anything like that. So I'm planning on using all of these sheets. And I like to have, I'm very versatile, so I really like to have a variety of inserts because that also keeps me from, it keeps me excited to use my planner and also it keeps me motivated. And then the next section subsection in my calendar section is notes so in here I just put a um, variety again of different types of pages that I can use just to write down notes and ideas that of maybe things that I want to add to this planner or to my other pl planners in my lineup okay down next section is home management and in home management, I have the subsections. The first subsection is cleaning. And then before the rest of the sections on the under cleaning, I put this filing which says, don't be busy, be productive. So under cleaning, the first subsection is schedules. And here I want to um, come up with a cleaning schedule and um, plan it out in these inserts. So I have this insert, which I also found online. It's a cleaning schedule. It's broken down by weeks, and then you have each week has every day of that week. And you have some daily reminder and monthly reminders on the bottom. There's also this house cleaning checklist, which already comes um, filled out like with some ideas. And I'm going to see if this one works for me. If it doesn't, then I'll just create my own following this guide. There's also this style as well. Which again, it's similar to the first one, which is blank. So this gives me an idea of how I can fill it out. And what I can... Um, set up in my cleaning schedule for example for week one we can do on mondays laundry and bedding mop and clean the bathrooms for tuesdays we can clean the bedrooms vacuum and the home office wednesdays we can work on the kitchen thursdays in the living room hallway front door or and dust the house fridays we can clean the bathroom and wipe down the walls and the doors sundays 
sweep the porch and mop. And then we have some daily uh, reminders. So these are examples of, this is an example of a cleaning schedule. And then in the bottom for daily reminders, you can remember to exercise every day, sweep every day, the dishes. Um, for the monthly, things that you normally do on a monthly basis. So I'm planning on using um, those as guides and these to kind of come up with a weekly cleaning schedule that works for me. And then this is a weekly shore list, like take out the garbage, things like that. This is a task list. So these are just um, items that I'm using in this planner to help me get my home organized. Now, you might say like, why are all the inserts um, blank? They're blank because this is the setup of the home management planner. Once, now that I have more free time, I'm gonna be able to fill everything out, but I just basically finished setting it up and putting all the labels and coming up with all the sections that I wanted in it. And that's what, um, um, that's why I'm sharing it with you guys now before I fill it out because of course there's going to be information on here that's going to be sensitive that I'm probably not going to be able to share with you guys. So that's why I just wanted to start with sharing um, the setup and my ideas um, with the setup. Then the next section in the, the subsection in the cleaning section is um, checklists. So we have a bathroom checklist. So these are checklists of... Um, things that I need to take care of pertaining to each room in the house like we have a bathroom checklist we have a bedroom checklist which includes like um, it has it's divided by sections clothes flat services storage cleaning maintaining and basically um, again this I these I got from online so just to give you an example for what's included in the bedroom checklist under clothes, you have things like um, if you don't like something in your closet and you probably won't ever like it again, pass it on. So it helps you with the clothing to kind of declutter and um, how to organize your clothes. Um, for flat surfaces, we have things like clean off flat surfaces and find homes for the things you tend to just set down. For under storage, you have um, empty the closet shelves and sort through any long-term storage. For cleaning, um, you have mash, wash mattress cover, dust um, highest leaves, windows and door frames, spot clean upholstery and carpet. Um, for maintaining the bedroom, you have things like don't let uh, flat surfaces accumulate stuff, dust and clean glass and mirrors weekly, things like that. So these are just checklists for every room that's just going to help me um, keep every room organized, clean and maintained. Again, like this is very helpful, especially now that we're in, 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 in quarantine, because for those of us that being able to remain productive and, and have a list and be able to check things off of that list, it helps us stay motivated and it helps us feel like, okay, we're doing something while all of this is going on. It kind of keeps our brain busy and feeling like I'm doing something. I'm staying busy. I'm being productive while everything gets sorted out outside of, the, of, of our home. So again, these inserts, they have a chick, we have a kitchen checklist, um, a kitchen toys checklist, living room checklist. So I have a checklist for every room of the house and I love those, those inserts and um, I might create, I might not stick with these depending, I might create my own, but these are basically um, a great startup because it'll give me an idea of what worked and what didn't work. Now in the next subsection under cleaning, we have challenges. So these are cleaning challenges. I have a 28 day spring cleaning challenge. Again, these are great to keep my me motivated to clean the house and stay busy during this quarantine time. Um, I also have a 20, this is a, the 2020 home organization challenge. Um, this is by a lady that I follow on Instagram and um, she created this she also has a home organization book 
and she created this challenge and um, I wanted to download it and see if I can follow it through. Now this one started already in January, but you can start it whenever you want. It doesn't, you don't really have to start it exactly um, at that time. So this is another challenge that I have in here. And this one is very detailed. Um, it has some tips on how to follow through with um, in ev every week. It has a checklist and a shopping list. So this one is really nice and organized. I like the way that she um, divided everything up. And I'm trying to see... Okay, and then I also have this one, which is 31 days to organize your home. Again, this one is a little bit more detailed. It gives you um, instructions on a daily basis. For example, for day 30, for those of us that have a yard, it has yard organization. So um, if you have a garden shed, utilize it. Um, if you have kids go through and throw out any broken yard toys and donate everything so it kind of um, gives you an idea as to how to follow through with um, the challenge I love things like this and then the next section under cleaning is um, guides so this one the first one that I have in it, you guys can tell, I already read it because I highlighted it, some of the sections already. This one says, uh, your guide to lifelong organization. So basically, I go through online and I find um, articles or things like that that are very helpful with keeping my home organized. Um, maybe my to help with paper clutter and things like that. And I print it out and I go and I look through it and I want to keep it in here just as a reminder because sometimes we kind of let things accumulate and having like a guide that kind of pushes you and motivates you to keep up with organizing your home and cleaning the different areas of your home um, is that's very helpful. So this one is also on how to organize your files and I got um, these ideas from HGTV organizing uh, mail and bills um, four steps to less paper clutter very very helpful I think that everyone relates to how quickly mail becomes cluttered because we receive so many things not just bills in the mail but a lot of like credit card offers and offers for this and that and the third and magazines and newspapers some of us subscribe to so it kind of it can become um, very very cluttered easily this one is for um, organizing an office space at home so these are just great ideas and to me they're guides and that's why I put them in my guide section um, this is another um, guide that I really really like um, because here you're able to circle whether you completed each task or not it has like your task over here and then it gives you examples of what each task pertains to for example uh, one of the to do's is throughout the trash so it tells you this includes unnecessary papers notes broken items expired items useless items items you no longer need or use um, if you are not sure about an item ask family members to ensure it has no purpose or value and then here you're able to circle whether when you finish that you're able to circle yes or no um, what I'm planning on doing with some of these guides and things that I use as checklists once I know that they work for me, I'm planning on laminating them so that way um, I don't have to be constantly printing them out and I can also uh, save paper that way. So if I laminate them, I can use a dry erase marker to kind of cross them off once I do them and then wipe the um, insert clean for the following week or the following month depending on when I'm doing these items and I can reuse um, that insert. Um, this one is seven ways to eliminate clutter. So it has some ideas for that. Paper purge tips. So basically those are the guides that I have for now. As I go through and maybe find some in magazines and things like that I'm probably